Hey YouTube, here we are again working on junk around the place. So I got two batteries here on the camper that I have hooked to solar and one of the batteries gave out on me so we're gonna bring it in the shop and put a charge on it and see if she'll hold. Alright guys, so I threw these batteries on the charger and this one here, which uh, both of them were manufactured 614, this one here is charging up. I don't know if you can see that, that's a Genius G3500. And it's a three and a half amp from NoCo. That's like a little Chinese deal, but it actually works really good. It's kind of getting toasty. But this one's been charging for a few hours. I let this guy charge all night and into the morning and he, he would never gain any charge. So I think that one's junk. So what I'm going to do is go down to Batteries Plus and see what they got. These are never starts, as you can see. Um, see what they got for a deep cycle RV battery. So I can I can load them up good with the, the solar panels because it's, you know, drawing, drawing power out and then charging back up so I'm not sure if they have any better recommendations I don't know what good batteries are anymore to be honest with you um, I know Optima's used to be great but I haven't heard much good about them lately so I don't know maybe if you guys have some comments leave them let me know what kind of battery you prefer or think is the best or is the best for right now whatever but we'll see what kind of deal I can get down at the uh, batteries plus the company I work for during the day actually has an account with them <clears throat> and I talked to the boss Haas and he said yeah go ahead use the account to to get you some batteries that's no big deal figured I'd ask before I went down there and did it just so everybody knew what was going on anyway see what I can find alright guys we're back from uh, batteries plus or batteries plus bulbs sorry um, I'm not affiliated with batteries plus bulbs. Uh, picked up some Duracells. These are Duracell Ultra Deep Cycles. The you know, I'm not trying to badmouth anybody, but the gal down at the batteries plus was trying to sell me a $360 battery. That's battery each. Each battery was 360 bucks, and I kind of looked at her like, yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, and you know, she, she gave me the sales, sales pitch on it that they were guaranteed for five years and all that good stuff. But you know what? The freaking last batteries I had lasted four years and they were, you know, it was less for one battery, for two batteries than it, than it would be for that $360 battery. So I went with the cheaper Duracells copper toppers here. Um, I don't know what to say. I can't can't justify buying two three hundred and sixty dollar batteries to go camping three times a year. So and if you don't know, when you get a new battery for your car or your truck or your whatever, most of the time they come and they don't have uh much of a charge on them. They might have a surface charge. So I'm checking this out with my uh little craftsman multimeter here and it's showing 12.1 volts and that's that's basically a surface charge so once you get new batteries you need to throw the charger on them uh, as you can see on this one over here it's going it's charging I'm at 50 percent let's see what that one looks like big and another thing on batteries plus, I'm pretty sure I took one of the cores back. Like I, I kept, I kept one of them because it was holding the charge. And I took the core back, and I'm pretty sure she didn't give me a core charge on it. So I might have to call them tomorrow or something and say what the heck. So this one's up to 13.4 volts. That's DC because it's a battery, so it's direct current. Um, once they're both charged, I'll get them hooked on the on the RV and we'll we'll kind of show you how the uh, solar solar system works and make sure all that's up and running so hey guys so I'm kinda I'm going through and editing this video and I 
noticed my wiring on the batteries is kind of ridiculous. Um, if you saw the old batteries view of it, it was just how it was set up and I kind of just wasn't paying attention and left them how they were and that's how I set up the the cables from positive to positive, negative to negative, which gives us our parallel connection, or, or battery bank parallel connection, but what I should have done is this, where I'd have the batteries turned so they were going the same direction, and I'd have positive to positive, negative to negative, and then I wouldn't have that goofy looking wiring set up there but uh it's too late now and i'm not really in the mood to change it i don't have any of the connectors anymore so um yeah hindsight is always 30 50 so should have did that didn't do it too late now maybe next time okay guys so i got the uh batteries hooked back up and solar solar panel is working great it's uh Kind of a cloudy day, but it's still holding about 13.9 volts. Um, this is from Windy Nation. It's a P30L. And I've got a 100 watt solar panel up on the roof. Wish I had the installation video for you, but I don't. So we'll just kind of go through what I did to get it here. Um, this corner was the most inconspicuous place I could see to put this thing. They want you to have it as close to the battery as, you know as possible without getting carried away. You don't want to put it somewhere stupid just because you want it close to the battery. Um, the cable coming in, I drilled a hole through the cabinet and that goes straight up through the, the roof to the solar panel. And they recommended a 30 amp fuse. Well, I had a hard time finding a decent inline 30 amp fuses so I use some of the stuff from work I actually I talked to our supplier and they just gave me a handful of them for free so I've got extras these are um, Busman 30 amp slow blow fuses on a fuse block holder so that's my inline fuse it's a little overkill but I like overkill so and the wire coming through is actual solar um, solar cable it's called advanced digital cable and that came with the windy nation kit the 100 watt kit let's see if i can get a view of uh <clears throat> the solar panel today too so the controllers um pretty intuitive actually uh so it tells you what the battery temp is that's what this line up here that goes straight to the battery i don't know what celsius is i don't believe in metric uh, PV, so that's our photovoltaic. We're getting 1.3, 1.2 amps right now. Load, not using anything. Everything's shut off, so it's not showing anything. And I do believe that is for um, like inverter load, which I'm not hooked to an inverter. I just basically using the solar panel to keep the batteries charged and keep it going. Uh, there's the load. So that's how many amp hours I've uh, gained from the solar so far. Or maybe that's the uh, inverter load, but either way we're not using a load on either side. So, And we're at 13.8. Um, the wires go down through here. And then you say I have some water damage. Uh, down in behind the seat here. So the wires come in from behind the seat come down and I've got another 30 amp busman fuse on I've got it on each side so the um, positive and negative the incoming and the neutral however you want to look at it and then got it screwed to the, to the walls just so it doesn't vibrate and then I've got a hole drill through the floor here and then that goes out to the batteries which you already saw me hook up so um, the kit, oh, shit, I'm stuck. the kit, I'll look up prices and put all that in the link below, but if you guys are looking for a beginner solar kit, I highly recommend Windy Nation. I actually, uh, I screwed up my, um, uh, battery temperature sensor and I, I sent them an email saying, Hey guys, I 
cut the end off of this trying to put a new end on it because it didn't fit over the the terminal and they sent me a brand new one so they're pretty good to work with uh, tech support I called him once just to double check my fuses and he, he answered right away and very helpful very pleasant so um, that's my my solar jobber for the day all right so here's the solar panel uh, Windy Nation 100 watt solar panel it's uh, pretty dirty but so we've been through two hail storms and it doesn't even have a dent in it, no cracks, nothing like that. It's been up here for a couple years. Um, came with the mounting brackets, uh, screwed it to the top of the RV, and then put die core all the way around on everything. Also put die core underneath, and then screwed it down. Uh, die core here just to kind of hold the cables, keep them from moving. And looks like I need to I need some Eterna bond because I've got. I got a, a leak on this side somewhere, and that's probably not helping anything. So that's my uh, Winnie Nation solar panel. Thanks for watching.